disgraced Susan Rice works overtime to downplay FISA scandal claims Trump is undermining democracy. Did we expect anything uh, different from her? By Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Disgraced liar and former Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice appeared on ABC's uh, this week in an effort to save the deep state as the FISA warrant documents have finally been released. In an effort to distract from the FISA bombshell, Rice is now on the talk show circuit, trashing President Trump and doing her part to desperately fan the flames of Russia collusion. Well, Trey Gowdy, your partner in crime, is helping on that front also, I might add. From Breitbart, Sunday on ABC's This Week, former UN ambassador under Obama, Susan Rice, said President Donald Trump was serving the interests of Russian President Vladimir Putin by undermining our democracy. If the li liberal Democrats gave a flying crap of the for our democracy, I mean, really, they've done nothing but try to destroy it from the ground up. Rice said the sanction that the president and the administration have imposed on Russia only came as a result of a congressional mandate that required him to do so. The president has cast doubt repeatedly, including this week on the legitimacy of the unanimous intelligence community finding that Russia directly interfered in our election. Oh, wait a second, those Facebook ads that you're talking about? Yeah, right, they really interfered, yeah, they really did even though they even stated it didn't change any vote numbers, uh, vote counts, or anything, but they interfered, as if America doesn't look into... All the countries do the same crap. She continued, he has undermined NATO. Yeah, so we foot the bill for everybody else, right? That's undermining NATO. How about undermining our country. How about that, Susan Rice? I can't wait for her to be prosecuted. It would be it would be uh, really grand after she comes out and, and starts spewing this garbage. Uh, she He has undermined NATO, called the European Union a foe. He has imposed harsh tariffs on our closest allies. He has withdrawn us from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP Agreement. In other words, you can't sue anybody because it's one entity, the TPP. You have no recourse. There's no one held accountable. Yeah, that was a really good partnership that Hillary Clinton wanted to get us into also, and Obama met privately to sign that deal. Uh, in secret to sign the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and Trump pulled us out. I mean, you don't know what this country would have been had this been uh, put into place, the TPP. Unbelievable damage, that irreparable damage to this country. We'd no longer be a sovereign country. Yeah, he has withdrawn us from the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. Wow, man, just the words alone, what she's saying here. He has taken a series of steps that had Vladimir Putin dictated him. What? He couldn't have mirrored more effectively. What? What his motivations are, I think, is a legitimate question. What are your motivations, Susan Rice? One that I trust, this special counsel. Yeah, he's the be-all, end-all, Robert Mueller. Everybody's afraid of Robert Mueller, you see? And I trust the special counsel in investigating. Investigating what? Investigating everybody except the real criminals? How about that, Susan Rice? But the policies that this president has pursued globally have serve Vladimir Putin's interest in dividing the West, undermining democracy, increasing fissures within NATO. What? 
and has done little to advance U.S. interests. <laughs> How do they, they, they go on national television and spew this garbage and they're not thrown off the set? Yet they throw Judge Janine Pirro off the set, who makes uh, perfect sense. And they allow this one advance. Where were our U.S. interests? By getting us into the TPP? By getting us into a confrontation with uh, Russia? That's our interest? To foot the bill for NATO? That is our interest? That's American interest? Do you see what, uh, what these people are with a straight face on national television stating that Trump is not looking to advance U.S. interests? Are you kidding me? And these people are? I mean, you know, you have to have a stomach for this garbage because, you know, I would have slapped that woman upside the head for making those dumb comments. I would have said, are you for real? Wake up from your trance and you know what the you know what the sad part of it is that liberals actually will listen to this garbage where they're going with a straight face looking to hang us all in a sense because once you hang us financially i mean you're done okay so they actually spew this garbage and the the liberals are not calling this garbage out that she's spewing on national television and who was the host of this ABC's this week? Didn't they call her out on what, what she was talking about? I mean, I, I you know, I mean, uh, who was on the show with her that was questioning her? What a disgrace. But ABC is a garbage network. It's a garbage network. That's all I have to say. If you allow people like Whoopi Goldberg, you fired Roseanne for nothing, actually, nothing, you kept Whoopi on, and you allow this idiot to go on and spew this garbage to the people, and, and you allow, you know, ABC is the worst station, that's all I have to say, because anybody with a right mind would have told her, what are you talking about, the TPP was a horrendous deal, and that's what uh, just reminded me, Hillary, once she saw that Trump was getting us out of the TPP, all of a sudden, and she was for it, then she backtracked because people were waking up to what the TPP was. And people, then she said, no, I, I wasn't uh, in agreement with the TPP to put it in place. Meanwhile, had she been elected, she would have had us in there uh, faster than you can blink. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.